So today on How Motorsports, we are putting traction bars on the OBS. Oh yeah, and we put a we lowered the front so it's not tooted up no more. So this is how the front sits now. We finally got it lowered. It tucks pretty well. She's not tooted no more. So this is the traction bar setup that we got. Um, no, the truck really doesn't need traction bars, but they look cool, so we're gonna put them on there. And we did some really, really long ones because why not? Uh, just some inch and a quarter heim, some tubing, some brackets, some bolts, nothing really to it, just typical traction bars. So, ready to give him a salt? Get her done. Let's get her done. So, problem number one with the inch and a quarter himes, that is wider than our frame rail. So, we got to build a little bracket turn this into a bracket so we can weld it onto the frame and did I tell you this truck is oily underneath the bottom it is disgusting so we got to pull the wheels off because of course we're not welding on the wheels like yeah we're not getting any weld on the wheels so Jordan's going to pull the uh, wheels off and I'm gonna start making plate and cutting plate. So I found this, uh, some scrap steel laying around. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set it just inside like that so I can actually, oops just inside so that I can run this side up on the frame rail and get a good full weld around here onto the frame. Then I can weld this to the frame and it'll just tie in together a little bit stronger. So let's get started by trimming this down. Okay. So now I got my two little squares cut out. I'm gonna weld them onto the ends and then clean underneath the truck and get this side mounted on.
Now we got the bracket all fully welded up. It is ready to go on the frame side. The other side's fine. We don't really have to do nothing to that. Now we get to lay underneath the truck and grind the frame. Oh yeah, and we probably need to put jack stands under it too. That'd probably be the smart idea. So this is the traction bar, all mocked up. And with movie magic, we're about to be done. So it is day two now, and like movie magic, we ran out of light last night, and yeah, we got everything welded up. And Jordan is installing traction bars now are you gonna paint them not today not today yeah it's raining so well it's not raining at the moment but it's supposed to be all day yeah i don't like painting in the rain yeah not that fun and it and it can make the paint feel later so you ready for a shop yep yeah, me too. That may or may not be in the works. Oh. What? No wonder, so easy. Oh, did your misalignment come out? Yeah. Look at me, probably. So just to let y'all know, I've had a couple people ask about this on the comments of some of the previous videos of the truck. Hang on. Sorry, we're right by the road. Um, no, these are not 10 lug wheels. These are simulated 10 lug wheels. Underneath that cover, it is eight on six and a half. And then these are false 10 lug inserts. So they just screw into the wheel and look like they're 10 lug. But technically when you remove that cover, it is just eight on six and a half bolt pattern. That's how we're able to tuck the wheels so nicely is because we're not having to use 10 lug adapters. So this is a uh, custom option that you have to do with American Force to get these uh, wheels like this. Because they sell these wheels in a tin lug. You just can't run them on a low truck like this with adapter because it would stick out. It'd stick way out because it'd have to have like a big adapter plate bolted to the hubs. Which is fine for a lifted truck, but not for something lowered like this. And yes, we know that it's not, it's painted two different colors. That's not the plan. We didn't, we bought the trucks <laughs> to build it. We're not leaving it this color.
it's a build it'll get there yeah it's a build we just had to do the wheels first so that we can make sure everything to cleared and to mock it up and make sure everything cleared on the front and we didn't have to trim none of the front after we lowered the front and make sure we didn't have any rubbage or anything in the rear so that's why we went with wheels first and just we decided to put them on and rock them for a little while as we're doing the outside stuff so we have the traction bars installed Back up a little bit. So that's them right there. I think they turned out pretty good. They'll be nice once they're uh, paint matched. Once we do paint, we'll get them powder coated the same color as the paint or get them painted one of the two. And it should turn out pretty nice. So if you like this video, smash that like button, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and like always, get out there and build something. Oh yeah, and if you want some sweet merch, go to howmotorsports.com, uh, link in the description, pick you up some.